Now, two people were killed and four left injured after a gas explosion at the Zodwa Special School in Attridgeville, in Swane, earlier this week. One person has since been arrested and charged with arson. Community members, though, are angered by this tragic incident, and they want their owner to be held responsible for the explosion, and they were protesting outside the school this morning. Pule Duchi Jones was there tracking the story for us. He's back now from Tswane. Good afternoon, Pule. Welcome back, and thanks for joining us. So community members seemingly are pointing fingers. What are they saying about this incident in which two people died and four others were, were injured? Because when you were there earlier this week, we understood that it was a disgruntled employee, apparently, yeah. who allegedly committed this, uh, this explosion. Mm. Well, essentially what they want now is for the contractor who was working at the school to erect some of the mobile classes and for the principal to assist the families who, who, who are responsible or who are living with the deceased who died on site as well with burial uh, processes and compensation as, as well. But um, also, they've been demanding to see the principal and come into schools. But the, the principal has been saying, look, there's procedures you need to follow before I can have a formal meeting with you. And therefore, that the response from the principal has sparked outrage in the community. And this is what we're seeing with communities protesting outside the school today from about 5.30 a.m. when I first arrived there. Um, and the, the, the protest carried on until about 11 a.m., before Steve Mabon, of course, from the Hartley Department of Education can come on to say, okay, we can finally have a meeting. But what, what that has done is that it has disrupted the classes now. This is a special school for pupils with disabilities as well. And it's quite concerning because what I heard from the Department of Education in Gauteng is that they need to take medication, they need special attention, they need to eat food. It's just a lot of special requirements they need to have. So when you disrupt that lesson, you're disrupting all of those processes as well, which, is what, which was a quite concerning as well. But uh, hopefully we may be seeing some step in the right direction with the protests having quelled down and them saying they want to meet the heart in the Department of Education. Let's just take a listen to how furious they were in the morning when I spoke to them. It's a tough one, eh? Yeah. Especially with being a special school for kids ah. with their disabilities. You said Steve Mabona was on the ground representing yeah. the department, and after 11 o'clock there was a meeting that was allowed to, to take place. What did he tell you? So Steve arrives on, on site at the school, and he is, he's about to talk to us. And when he goes on air, he says in front of the protesters, Brad Dan, that what they're doing is unlawful and is unacceptable. So what they've essentially done is that in the middle of the tension, they wanted to actually, you know, target him and lay their hands on him as well. But luckily enough, there were members of the police. So he was almost there. physically attacked. Yes, he was all, almost physically handled. And at least there were like police officials who were there to stop whatever altercation that could actually happen between the frustrated, angry residents and, of course, Steve Mabona. But as far as you understand, um, Steve says they will find a solution with the parents to ensure that on Monday there is school once again and the classes aren't disrupted. Let's take a listen to what you had to say. Just want to call upon community members. When they do uh, some of these activities, they must think about what is happening in an institution. An institution like this, you need to think about the, the life that is taken care of in such an institution. I mean, 90% of uh, these children are sick. They need to take their medication. Uh, Steve Mabona, they're ending that update from Atridgeville, from the Zotwa Special School by Bulele Chuti-Jones.